Hello guys, next up is uh, Kim Jill with How to Hack on Wikipedia. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for being here. So let's start with a bit of exercise. So uh, anybody that has used Wikipedia, please raise your hand. Okay, that's, that's some exercise. So uh, people that have edited Wikipedia or any related project. Okay, still quite quite good. Um, anybody has done any technical contribution, as in development or testing, for Wikipedia related? Okay, so I think we need a session like this. Uh, so we can see the, the mismatch in numbers, which is uh, logical. But at least we are we are we want to do our best to start um, improving the ratio. So first, let me let me explain you a, a little story. Uh, wiki, media wiki, a bit like, you know, home, sweet home. Um, so we have Wikipedia, which is a project you already know. Um, actually, this project belongs to a family of projects, uh, which are part of the Wikimedia movement. All these projects shared basically two things. One thing is this mission of sharing free knowledge for everybody, and really everybody. Uh, another one is that all those use... Uh, these uh, media wiki software uh, underneath to just provide the functionality you need to uh, create content, uh, edit collaboratively, and all all kinds of stuff. Whoops, this was not supposed to happen. And they told me going back is not easy. Okay, so here here we so here we have. Uh, Another, another of the projects, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but I don't know, Wiktionary, Wikispecies, Wikiquote, uh, Wikimedia Commons, Wikibooks, etc. So all, all that wheel belongs to Wikimedia, the Wikimedia movement. Um, and, but, but in the same way that all the content we produce is, uh, is free, also all the software we, we play with and we use and we develop is also free. And this is why uh, some of the software we develop or all of the software we develop uh, is, can be used by third parties, is used by third parties. So the MediaWiki software, uh, it's also used by other projects, uh, non-profit, super-profit, uh, that are out of the uh, Wikimedia movement. Like, um, and I just put some logos here. WikiHow, Wikia, OpenStreetMap, Semantic MediaWiki, uh, Web Platform uh, Org, and thousands of others. So I don't know, are, are, you, are you using... Uh, other media wiki uh, projects, can you raise your hand if you're using? Okay, so that's, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. Many people don't even know. You have to go to the bottom of the page, you know. So, sometimes you don't know if you're using a, a media wiki or not. But anyway, that's, the, the fact is that when you're doing a technical contribution, uh, if you're targeting Wikipedia or you're targeting the media wiki software, you're probably also doing a contribution to all these other projects, directly or indirectly. And this is a very important aspect as well. Okay, so... Um, Let's start this overview with with the uh, ultimate hack. So just get the data, all the rest you do it as as you prefer. So you can use the you can use the API to get um, content, remix content, uh, contribute content. You can do many things with it, and you can use it for I don't know, develop a, a game, uh, encryption software, uh, some touristic guide. Up to you, really. But there's a huge amount of uh, content, so articles, uh, media files, images, audio, video, and, and not, not only that, I mean, it, it's also it's content maintained by someone, uh, which it's not you. I mean, you're not taking care of all that content. So it's really valuable. It's free. Uh, you can use it in, in many ways. Um, you can also get involved in testing. Testing is usually uh, not just an easy entry point for non-developers, for instance, to get closer to development. It's also that if you're a good developer, uh, you should work on things that can be improved. And a way to know what can be improved is by doing testing. So we do testing of new features coming to Wikipedia. For instance, I don't know, Visual Editor. Who has, who has a, a Wikipedia account? Who has registered to Wikipedia? OK, that's pretty good. So if you go to Preferences, you can enable this Visual Editor, which basically uh, allows you to edit pages that uh, the editor looks like the final page already. Uh, pretty neat, but uh, quite buggy at the moment. Uh, and it could get some improvements in performance. So you can get involved, for instance, in testing of these new features. Or you can also get involved in, in uh, browser testing, automated testing, regression testing. We, we, of course, if we want uh, Wikipedia and related projects to be for everybody, this means 
plenty of browser versions, platforms, uh, form factors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's plenty of automated testing as well in, in our work. We have more than 4,000 bugs. Not all of them are for English Wikipedia, so, but we have plenty of bugs, uh, fresh, old, uh, for everybody. So just join in, search one that you like, look around, help testing it, help fixing it. Uh, really appreciate it. You can also get involved in translation. Um, so not only uh, in one of the 347 languages, think of it, 347 languages, what piece of software you know that uh, gets close to this number. Um, also, translation is done the wiki way, we're using Translate Wiki, which is an, another media wiki based project which is not part of the uh, Wikimedia uh, movement. It's, it's a good neighbor, but other projects are using it as well as a, as a platform for translation. So it's really, it's really easy to join and, and improve any strings you can see, not just in, in your non-English uh, language, also English can be improved, think of it. So you can also get involved and imp improve the English strings uh, using, using you know, getting involved in, in translation. And it's not only about translation, it's also all the technologies that are behind. We're talking about input methods, so how you introduce text in, for instance, non-Latin scripts, um, uh, right to left, um, grammar rules, so there's many other technologies involved in, in languages. Um, design, this is another area. So you could be the next person proposing a full redesign of Wikipedia. Uh, we look all those always with great interest. However, this is like software. It's like if I'm now going to propose a, a full rewrite of, I don't know, a Linux kernel, no? Especially when I propose it from a theoretical point of view. Yeah, people can say, yeah, well, interesting, but you know. Maybe if you want to get involved in design, what I recommend you is um, get, get started with something small. There's actually bugs, and there's actually enhancement requests that are related with design. No, not just art, graphics creation, there's plenty of UX problems that we can solve. Uh, how to save one click to a user, how to uh, do something more uh, evident to the user. So there's plenty of room for improvement, and, and your help is, is really welcome there, uh, especially if you are happy working with developers, so your design uh, goes close with, with code contributions. Uh, system administrations, there's also plenty of, of uh, work and, 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 and room for help. Uh, well, so it's been said, uh, citation needed, I don't have it right now, but apparently Wikipedia and company is the fifth most visited website in the world. And uh, the sysadmin teams, they are great. They are not many. It's amazing. Uh, if you look at the whole top 50, so all the neighbors of, of Wikipedia there, these are all huge companies. Um, so when you think of Wikipedia, this, this thing that we are summarizing as, as Wikipedia, actually we are talking about, last count I checked two days ago, 866 wikis. And this is only the media wikis. So these media wikis are in, you know, have configurations, have extensions, have, um, we have also other tools, I don't know, the Bugzilla, I mentioned the Bugzilla, this is just one tool, so there's plenty of things we are using around, and, and sysadmin help is also welcome. Uh, they are uh, big fans of Puppet, so um, actually all, all, the, all the configuration information, uh, it's amazing the amount of transparency there's also in the sysadmin side. So you can go uh, replicate a configuration. Uh, if you find uh, possibilities of, of improvement, uh, send, your, send your patch. All this is, of course, documented. And uh, we have labswikimedia.org, uh, which is a, uh, basically... It's a space where you can create your, your own fresh instance and, and play with it, experiment, try new things. Okay, so now let's go to code development. There's different, there's different uh, opportunities uh, for, for software developers. I will start with, with what we call gadgets because it's possibly, probably is the easiest entry point. So we're talking about JavaScript and um, you can start with something as easy and actually as with, with with a clear impact as a user script. A user script that can be, uh, you can run it locally, so you can do whatever you want because it runs locally, literally in, in, uh, in, your, own, in your own wiki or actually in your, you just need, for instance, you can, you can customize the Wikipedia uh, user interface just by having a user account. And then you can just use uh, your own user script and you know just customize the, the navigation at the left or change something uh, at the bottom or, or the categories that are at the bottom, just put it at the top. You can do uh, actually a lot of functionality with your own user scripts. You can share those user scripts with other users 
um, if your stuff is really good, uh, you can keep promoting it, and maybe one day you get it as a, as a supported gadget in uh, Wikipedia or in, in any other, other project. So again, if you're a registered user in Wikipedia, you can go to your preferences, you will see a tab, gadgets, and you can play with those. Um, okay, mobile, another, another area which is quite popular. Um, so basically what we are doing is focusing on uh, iOS and Android. Well, I would say Android and iOS, to be more precise. Um, we welcome help there. So the projects are in GitHub. You can, uh, you know, you can just uh, use the very latest releases. Uh, you, can, you can join the development. Um, it, this is not only about Wikipedia. So, uh, for instance, now one priority we have is to play with commons. So to help people not just consume media, but also contribute media from their mobile devices, because probably you have noticed that things like pictures, we are taking more and more pictures with mobile devices, and less and less with cameras that then we plug to USB and then we upload, etc. So this is, these, are, these are areas that we are focusing and we welcome help, but we also welcome help with all the rest. Again, uh, so Wikimedia projects are for everybody, and uh, we wish we could uh, reach everything, but it's just damn difficult. Uh, so other platforms are welcome, other browsers are welcome, any help is welcome. Uh, which button? This. Okay, bots. So bots are users, like real users. Uh, they have an account in Wikipedia. The difference with human users is that they're really patient, they don't complain, they don't like, like ranting, things like that, you know? Uh, they just work and work and keep working 24 hours a day as much as the server policies allow them to work probably uh, There's plenty of them. So 1,000 something around uh, Of course, not all of them are enabled in the English Wikipedia, but there's plenty of them in, in any case uh, about languages um, So I mentioned here Python because it's one pop popular framework, but again JavaScript or Perl or actually uh, this there's, there's many, many frameworks. Bash, uh, I don't know, you name it, you probably will find a, uh, some interface to, to develop your, your, your bot. Or again, uh, maybe instead of trying to develop a new one, considering the amount of current ones, maybe you just find a bot that also needs help and would welcome your, your improvement. We go down to extensions. So actually plenty of functionality that, that you get as a user of Wikipedia comes from a specific extension. Uh, I don't know, it can be um, a, a way to upload files. It, it can be, I don't know, many specific functionality. Um, it, these extensions are written in PHP, mostly. Um, and basically, uh, again, you can, you can start contributing to any of the many extensions that are around. 83 of them using it, the English Wikipedia, but there's plenty more around used by other projects. Uh, or, well, or maybe we are just missing something and, and that something could be an extension that you could provide. And, well, finally, we go to the Media Wiki Core. So this is the software that provides the wiki in Wikipedia. Um, well, it's quite a beast. Uh, it's, it's big. I was told that maybe this number comes from all our statistics. Maybe this number contains the, the localization strings. But still, I mean, it's, it's, it's a piece of software that, you know, you, I would recommend you to start first in, with extensions or something before you, you, you get there. But in any case, there's about 155 active contributors. Uh, it's been, so this was developed for Wikipedia. And still nowadays, the primary focus is Wikipedia. So for instance, the the fresh uh, versions target first Wikipedia, and if, if you're breaking something, you probably are gonna see first breaking it in Wikipedia. This is why, uh, this, this defines a lot what is the, the, the release process of, of MediaWiki. But anyway, uh, there's, there's uh, people involved there uh, from, with many different interests, uh, organizations, so you are also welcome to join. And probably, and this is of course the MediaWiki, if you have seen this, this label here at the bottom, you can see it in the footer of any Wikipedia page. It's also in the footer of many, many websites. And, uh, well, there's more ways to contribute, but, you know, for a lightning session, I think uh, it's quite enough. Uh, 
please, uh, here's there's more information at the, in this URL, mediawiki.org uh, slash something, how to contribute, search for how to contribute or the contribute link at the homepage. Um, you're welcome. Uh, we are, I think we are quite friendly community. Ask questions, uh, be bold. This is the slogan for ourselves, so be bold. And yeah, you can start with something small, being part of something really, really big. Thank you very much.